All right. Well, I was going through Zach's a blog and Brother Berg's blog, and I seen this about the Team America stuff. I actually was going to make a video talking about kind of the mirror effect of the World Trade Center bombing to Paris, France, and whatnot. But when I saw this, it just totally stuck out to me. This used to be one of my favorite movies. I mean, South Park has always it's been my favorite show since high school. But it just really stuck out to me because a lot of the storylines and everything I've talked about, it actually all kind of goes back to this. The creators of South Park, um, they do a lot of stuff dealing with the Mormons. And I don't know if I mentioned it in previous videos. I was going to talk about it with the Paris attack thing because the episode of South Park that came out on 11-11, the two days before it, last Wednesday, literally was all about how the, the kids dressed up like ninjas and everybody thought they were actually ISIS. I mean, perfect timing for it, you know. But basically at the very end, they have Officer Bar Brady who goes and whatever, and then like the secret agent guy talks to him right before the, the thing ends, and he says, have you noticed a lot of changes? And Bar Brady says, yeah, and he says, you know, it's all planned or whatever. He actually says that the changes aren't a coincidence, they are all part of a plan to take the town down. Interesting, you know? And then two days later, the Paris attack happens. It's even somewhat of a mirror to 9-11. I still don't know what the whole point is, but he says, what do you know about the girl named Leslie? That was one of the things I've been trying to figure out. But um, I'll come back to all of this later on. Or actually, I'll just talk about it right now. So... Um, tonight's episode will be the 265th episode of South Park on the Skull and Bones Day, three, 322nd day of the year, but it's the 265th. The 265th day is September 22nd. That's the day that Pope Francis came to the United States. It's also the day that Joseph Smith in the Mormon religion was able to take the golden plates We've talked a lot about how it ties into uh, Revelation and whatnot, but in the Mormon Bible, there are 239 chapters. This is the 239th year of the United States. We've talked about a lot of this coding. You know, 23-9 is 923, the day that Pope Francis went to the White House at 923 in the morning or whatever. He came on 922 as 923rd day as Pope. Also, it was the 266th day of the year, is 923. Pope Francis is the 266th Pope. Interesting to point out, too, the next episode of South Park that comes out, I'm not sure if it'll be next week, it'll be the 266th episode of South Park. In season 19, I've been talking about a lot about the number 91 as well. 91 and 19 are mirrors. Also, how this movie, Team America, connects is at the very beginning scene, the terrorists are gonna they're in Paris France and they have the suitcase and they're gonna place a bomb or whatever but then Team America comes in and they kill the terrorists or some of them get away but uh they destroy Paris pretty much and then one of the chicks in Team America her boyfriend that just proposed to her he gets murdered by one of the terrorists and then uh, it flashes over to New York City and they have to go to New York City to find Gary uh, because he's the the best actor on Broadway or whatever and that's so they need him to like go undercover as a terrorist but interesting when they get there you know the play is called uh, Lease the musical and you can look at it right here um, he's singing everyone has AIDS that adds up to the same thing as World War three and I mean just think about you know Charlie Sheen coming out and saying that he has HIV which I'll talk about that a little bit in a second I mean, you can come check this out as well. You know, Lease the Musical 54. Also, the next they had, the next place of attack in this movie is the Panama Canal, which adds up to 77. He even points out the American Meridian is the 77th Meridian, you know, where the Pentagon is and whatnot, like Flight 77. They hit the 77-foot-tall Pentagon. It's on the 77th Meridian. But it also makes me think of the 7-7 London bombings that just so happened to start 11 minutes until 9, but what really stuck out to me was this right here, 56 deaths. 56 is a number just absolutely coded in all types of recent events. 
including Paris and whatnot. So, I mean, we got Paris, France equals 56. ISIS equals 56. Even um, Rockefeller, you know, the World Trade Centers were approved by a Rockefeller. Proposed by a Rockefeller, approved by a Rockefeller. Osama bin Laden, this website doesn't do the S exception, but Osama bin Laden adds up to 56. Also, Saddam Hussein adds up to 56 with the S exception. Even Trey Parker, the main, he does the voice of the main character in Team America. His name's 56. But also, uh, Paris, France adds up to 110 and 56, just like Osama bin Laden. Just like Rockefeller, uh, the World Trade Centers were 100, or the Twin Towers were 110 stories tall. Even right outside the Pentagon, the highway is Highway 110. 911 is 110. But anyway, back to, so the World Trade Center, Flight 11 was the first one to hit the Twin Towers. Then Flight 175 was the second one to hit the towers. And look, it had 56 passengers, a total of 65 people on there, the mirror of 56. The World Trade Center, the South Tower, collapsed 56 minutes after the crash. Lots of other things I could mention. I'm just trying to stick to just the 56. But Flight 11 was the first one to hit the towers. Um, and remember I mentioned Mark Wahlberg because he's in the movie called The Truth About Charlie, where they show the map with Charlie Hedbo and all that. Hedbo, however you say that. Charlie, like Charlie Sheen, you know, Charlie adds up to 56. Mark Wahlberg adds up to 56. Remember when the Pope was in Philadelphia, Mark Wahlberg was even up on stage with him, which just seems kind of weird. Um, so Charlie Sheen, whatever, two and a half men, 56. He had HIV, like Magic Johnson, 56. Gay men, 65. I mean, I talked about how it's tied into Lupercalia and the Wolf and whatnot. Kevin Garnett, the first teen Wolf. Wolf, 56. Kevin Garnett, 56. Interesting, too, with Charlie... The movie Peanuts just came out, you know, Charlie Brown. Ronda Rousey just lost her fight, Ronda Rousey, 56. Don Vito, who just died, Don Vito was even born in the year 56. We've talked about how it all deals with Revelation, it seems like. the, Like I said, the end of the Book of Mormon, 239 chapters, 239 years in the United States. King James Bible adds up to 56, interesting. Also, uh, the Knights Templar were wiped out. On Friday the 13th, and that's like a theory of as to where the Friday the 13th um, people worrying about it comes from, but they were wiped out by Philip the 4th, that adds up to 56, of France. He even died at the age of 46. If you add up 56, write it out as a word, it adds up to 46. Also with uh, Charlie Sheen, you know, he had tiger's blood, and then so it's the joke is he had tiger's blood, now he has HIV Blah, 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 tigers have HIV. You just had the um, Missouri Tigers, the whole racial protest and whatnot. Then the coach even announced that he's resigning, and that's due to his cancer that he has. It all ties back into the Teen Wolf stuff because of Flip Saunders dying from cancer. The Minnesota Golden Gophers coach resigned as well this year um, because of he had cancer and then he, it caused epilepsy or whatever. And that's the whole joke of the Team America thing, because the song is Everyone Has AIDS. Funny though, I've talked about um, BYU a lot. It, it clear back to I think it's, I think I started talking about it on nine one even. Um, but anyway, BYU is the Mormon college, and when Missouri did the whole protest thing, if they didn't play, they wouldn't have played BYU. BYU was the team that they played last week. And I've talked about the Wolf with Michigan and whatnot, the Lupercalia stuff. Michigan, the only team, teams that they have lost to is Michigan State and also Utah, the Mormon team. And then when I started talking about BYU, how they've coded it in here, it was against the, it was the Nebraska football game, the absolutely most rigged game, somehow, magic or whatever. It was crazy. But wouldn't you know, Nebraska last week, they won last week again. So now Nebraska is even ranked 5-6. and six. The 56, I told you, it's coded to Lincoln, Nebraska through the movie Teen Wolf and uh, Abraham Lincoln. They're just, they got a bunch of themes that they're doing, and they're running them all together somehow. 
the guy from Herbie, Dean Jones, Herbie the Love Bug movie, he died on 9-1. Nebraska's mascot is Herbie. That's why I said I don't think Nebraska is going to have a good season this year because they're, they're, they killed off Herbie. Interesting, too, when I think back on it, Michigan, when they lost to Appalachian State uh, in 2007, they lost on the game was played on 9-1. But let's look at some of these 91s then. Uh, Paris terrorist attacks, 91. Go figure. I've talked about this number over and over lately and how it ties into skull and bones and whatnot because April 1st, 4-1, is the 91st day of the year. And then Skull and Bones adds up to 41 and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll probably make two parts, but Chicago Cubs lost, 91. The word mirror is 91. Like I'm saying, the Paris attacks almost seem to be like a mirror or they're trying to do the same thing that they did with the World Trade Center bombings. This, These two guys were the Marine guys that were, or whatever they were, the military guys that were in the train attack or whatever in Paris this year, or France this year. If you put them na their names together, 91. The one guy was even from Roseburg, Oregon. The Roseburg, Oregon shooting that happened with 91 days left until the end of the year. On Jimmy Carter's 91st birthday, he's 111 days younger than George Bush, the 41st president, Bush 41, who was also a Skull and Bones member, and everybody's beloved Jimmy Carter. James Carter <laughs> adds up to 41, just like Skull and Bones. And speaking of Herbie, so Herbie is number 53, the car. But in this movie, Lindsay Lohan's brother is the one who drives the car for their NASCAR team or whatever at the very beginning. And then she ends up having to drive or whatnot. But he drives the car number 56 in the movie. And it's this guy from the movie Road Trip. He's also in the movie Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. The one that came out in 1991, the Mirrors, you know, of 91. He's also 41 years old from Minneapolis. Talked about all this stuff over and over. Freddy's dead. Remember, uh, the movie Drop Dead Fred came out on the Mirror Day. This movie came out on September 13th, the 139. But I believe it's the 256th day of the year. And then... On the day with 256 left is April 19th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 256 left. That's the day that the movie Drop Dead Fred came out. Freddie Gray died this year on April 19th. The He was injured or whatever on April 12th. That is the day that the Civil War began in the United States. And also, he died on April 19th, the day of the first death in the Civil War. Tons of stuff on that, though. Made tons of videos on it. The actor is even Brecken Meyer, and uh, his name adds up to 65. So literally, it seems that a lot of these big events that happen in the world, they always have these numbers in them. I mean, 56 seems like a pretty special number when it comes to something big, I guess. But um, the World Trade Center also had a lot of Skull and Bones reference. Like I said, they're... Skull and Bones is 41. Al-Qaeda adds up to 41. Even Muslims adds up to 41. Airplanes adds up to 41. Um, this one is with the S exception, so that's why I couldn't put it in over there. Also, the date, 9 plus 11 plus 20 plus 1 is literally adds up to 41. George Bush, John Kerry, Skull and Bones members. George Bush 41, also a Skull and Bones member. He's the guy who gave the speech about the NWO, or the New World Order, exactly 11 years on 9-11, before 9-11. His grandpa, or his dad, Prescott Bush, was also a member of Skull and Bones. He was part of the group that stole Geronimo's uh, bones or whatever, his skull and bones. Geronimo Allison beat the Nebraska Cornhuskers this year. He caught the ball um, and won the game or whatever. Geronimo or he played for Illinois, it's the Fighting Illini, Fighting Illini adds up to 91. He had 91 yards in the game, but he actually played for Iowa Western uh, previously before he played for Illinois, and Iowa Western is in Council Bluffs, Iowa, which adds up to 191. It's all about the Mormons, really, because Council Bluffs is the historic starting point of the Mormon Trail. It used to be called Canesville. 
But uh, running out of time, I guess I'm just going to make a part two.